So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to import and visualize the global methane concentration using Earth Engine. So let's get started. So this is an uh, article that is posted by NASA the global climate changes uh, posted in uh, January 2, 2018. It states that the atmospheric methane concentrations are given by their weights in teragram. So 1 teragram equals to 1.1 million US tons more than the weights of uh, 200,000 uh, elephants. So methane emissions are increased by an about 25 teragrams in a year with an emission is currently around 550 teragrams in a year. So methane emission has been rising sharply since 2006. So a different research team have been uh, estimated the two known sources for increase in emission of methane. It is from oil and gas industries and microbial production in wetland uh, wet tropical environments like marshes and rice paddies. So now to uh, import and uh, visualize a global methane concentration uh, in Earth Engine. First we have to uh, import uh, two weeks of uh, Sentinel 5P methane and uh, composite it by a mean value of it. So let us define a variable called CH4. A CH4 represents a methane. That is CH4 represents a methane. So define a variable called CH4 equals to double e dot image collection Copernicus Sentinel 5P refers to Copernicus Sentinel 5P and selecting specifically L3 uh, CH4 methane and uh, from that we are specifically selecting that is CH4 column volume mixing ratio dry air. So further to let us filter it by our sp spatial uh, that is our temporal filter with the data that is dot filter date 2019 August 1 to 2019 August 15 and further let us take a mean value of it. So we have a SP that is our data is varying from 2019 8 August 1 to August 15. So in order to acquire a mean set of value, so acquire a mean a mean uh, methane concentration, we define dot mean mean function. So dot rename uh, CH4. So we are renaming our uh, uh, renaming it as a CH4 layer. So now further to uh, visualize our uh, our methane concentration we have to define our visualization parameter so to define a visualization para parameter we uh, we define a variable called band this refers to band visualization we set a minimum value of around 1800 and to a maximum value of around 1900 if we have a colored palette that is our color scheme for our visualization for our methane concentration that starts from black to red so black represents the lowest concentration of methane and red represents the highest concentration of methane. So very high concentration of methane is represented in red color and very low concentration of methane that is represented in the black color and moderate uh, concentration that is represented, represented in yellow color. So now to display our map, that is to display our uh, methane concentration of uh, map in Earth Engine, we define the map.add layer CH4. The CH4 refers to this value, that is this variable we refer that is we used to import our uh, that is our methane concentration from sentinel 5p image and the band visualization represents our visualization parameter for our methane concentration that is we define black is the lowest and red represents the highest concentration of methane and output the layer name as ch4 that is methane so before executing our code let me show you this so you can you can able to clearly visualize the concentration of methane in a global scale. So you can visualize that red represents the highest concentration of methane and the blue represents the lowest concentration of methane. So this is a global uh, global level methane concentration um, uh, map. Now let us generate our map of methane concentration using Sentinel 5P image, the Copernicus Sentinel 5P image. So go to the option called Run Script click run script so the layer is loading here now let us visualize it so now we can uh, clearly visualize our uh, global methane concentration that uh, that is uh, using our sentinel 5p image so here the red represents the highest concentration of methane, level, methane, uh, methane 
and the black represents the lowest concentration and yellow represents the moderate so based on our uh, visualization parameter we set black is of a lowest concentration and red is of a highest concentration of methane so you can uh, view that so here the red represents the highest concentration and yellow represents moderate and black represents very low concentration and blue is of uh, low concentration of methane so here uh, you can clearly view that so this is at a temporal uh, variation from that is a temporal uh, date from that is from august 1 to august 15 2019 the variation of methane concentration is between august uh, 1 to august 15 so you can uh, clearly view that the higher concentration is being observed in uh, in this area in this area so in the middle uh, middle east and uh, so here you can clearly view that the red uh, red represents the highest concentration of methane so you can also clearly able to view that the highest concentration is being absorbed in the in part of sahara deserts and uh, in middle east and some part of asia also we can uh, clearly able to view that the concentration of uh, methane is very low in australia and also in uh, south africa and madagascar and in south uh, south america and also in uh, part of russia so there is a lowest concentration of methane is being absorbed so in this video i have shown you how to import the sentinel 5p image and uh, find the methane concentration for the specific timeline from august uh, 2019 for the specific timeline from uh, 2019 august 1 to 2019 august 15 so and also shown you how to define a visualization parameter for this our data that is our methane concentration data and we define a visualization parameter black indicating the lowest and red indicates the highest concentration at last so uh, how to display our map so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and give us a like